Oh, it's a banner day here on how to drink. I'm no longer alone in the bar. I got my good pal Leandro here. I don't know if he's a toucher. I just, just we just did that. It's no, the I'm first not. time we physically made contact. I'm definitely a hugger. Okay, he's this guy does some serious military presses. These are legit. Nah, shows. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> Let me try to recount what happened here. You, 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 you threw, oh, let's talk about it. You said on the on an episode, which is now being encutted into the video, uh, something about we should get together and have a drink together. A just night on the town, going to all of Greg's favorite bars. And I said, let's do it. And now you flew across the country to do it. Yes. Um, and then I disappointed you by not being able to actually go well, out. Well, no, no. Hey, okay. <laughs> First of all, we, I wasn't disappointed. We have a lot of uh, subscribers that are, uh, I don't know, like simpatico, right? But their number one question is like, when are you going to do a collaboration with How to Drink? Well, today so. is now. What we should do is uh, make each other a martini and we'll rate them. Using our preferred martini ratios. Exactly right. Exactly right. Does that sound cool? Yeah, I love it. All right. Uh, all right. Wait, do you have orange bitter? So, um, I got... Wait a second now, fellas. I don't know what the hell this shit is. Do you guys have fees? I don't have any fee, brothers. Ooh. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I, I Reagan's is good. I probably have... Um, hold on a second. I like a... Do you want to peruse the, Brit the bitters wall? Yes. We had technical difficulties. We left the set. We went and got some other things that we thought we'd... We, we both stepped it up. We didn't have the right bitters, and he, he went back there and then got exploratory on me, so I don't know what he's about to do. Well, I, I, I like, I don't know. For better or worse, I changed the martini I'm going to make. Because it just kind of felt like, like, I don't know, when we were discussing, I kind of felt like your specs were pretty close to my specs, so I was exactly. like, you know what, I'm going to go off the chain and do something that is completely different than awesome. what you're going to do, and then so then you'll be surprised when you taste it. I'm, I there's going to be a little bit of a, like, I'm improvising a tiny bit here. Do it up. Um, but uh, I think it's gonna be good. So you're, right. we're gonna start with bitters? Fine, let's do yeah. that. I'm gonna do my bitters first. All right, just gonna do, because just doing the bitters bottle, I'm just doing like a little, a, like a dash and a half almost. Now what do you got there? Uh, I got bitter truth grapefruit bitters. Bitter truth grapefruit, right. holy so shit. So I'm use grapefruit bitters. I took the, I'm an asshole. I took the, the spitter off of the top of this guy. So I've got um, a finger and some Reagan's orange number six here. Uh, there we go. There One, go. That's good. That's two yeah, dashing. Two dashes of Reagan's bitters off the side of my finger. Okay, then I'm gonna use delicious gas. Thank you. Three quarters of an ounce here of Coke Americano. Americano. Just taught me how to pronounce that backstage. <laughs> uh, I'm going with an ounce of Noily Pratt. Noily Pratt. We're doing three quarters of an ounce of absolute vodka. <laughs> Whoa, I almost just draw what would have been a disaster. I come over to Greg's set and drop all his gin. That, that wouldn't be good. That's not all my gin. So you're going... It's ounce and a half. Ounce and a half. Tank. All right, I'm going two ounces of Ford's here. I'm not going to absinthe rinse, but I did consider it. Orange? Oh, an orange for you, sir. Orange, please. We'll go blind? Uh, yeah, we'll go blind. All right. Should we do the thing like we're getting... No. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know if Just our like microphones... like Lady in the Trampet? Yeah, I don't know if our microphones... Will... That'd be funny. The fans will love it. Let's do it. It's great for the thumbnail. Uh, you're so tall, though, that I then have to switch... Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm, I'm too tall. short. I'm not that tall. We're... But I'm shorter than... Am I taller than... I'm like a short little Italian guy. Ooh, shit, yeah. man. What oh, the fuck, fuck is yeah. this? Oh. 
That's a fucking good martini, Greg. Oh, thank you. That is a fucking good martini. That is a good martini. That's a very standard martini. Uh, I don't know if you're... You I'm a huge fan after. of a standard martini. What do you get there? What do you like about that? Okay, this is what I like about it. You stirred it just enough so that like, you got enough dilution that like the ethanol is like down and you're playing up the vermouth, which okay. is what... Here's the thing, a lot of people, I always say this on my channel, I'm gonna say it again. A lot of people say like, oh, I just put a spritz of vermouth. Oh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. The reason why they don't like their vermouth is because they're drinking rancid vermouth and it's old vermouth. The thing That's is, true. is that this whole drink is all about the interplay of flavors between vermouth and gin. Yes. The botanicals and the gin, and also the botanicals and the vermouth as well, right? Come know. together. To, so like, you've got just enough lemon, like you've got just enough lemon, but you're not hiding the botanicals from the gin, and then you're getting that nice vermouth kick right on the finish. It's very dry. See, a lot of people don't realize that two to one ratio is a dry martini. Right, yeah. Not a five to one ratio, that's a very dry martini. But like a dry martini is a two to one ratio. I mean, and also I thought too that if you look at now, I'm just going off what I've read. So, and also what I've committed to video in other episodes. I thought a dry martini, as far as I understand, it just meant you were using the London Dry New Style Gin circa 1910 as opposed to gin, pre-dry right. gin. Right. Well, I mean, here's the thing. So, like words change, but before there was like the London Dry Style of Gin, it was Geneva. The London Dry Gin style kind of came out of that. Yes. And martinis were around. Like there was London Dry and Old Tom. Actually, Old Tom was like really the first. So basically, right. like what a lot of people say is that the Martinez came first. And nobody knows. Nobody knows. All of them evolved. Around, like all of them came out around 1870. Yes. Nobody really knows which came first. It's like the chicken and the egg. That said, I will say that the Old Tom style of gin was a lot more prevalent than London Dry, and yeah. it came out, like it was around first. The very first martinis that came around were 50-50 ratios. Yes. Right? And that was what would consider, that was, became a wet martini. And then as time went on, they wanted it drier, meaning more gin. So they went to a two to one ratio. And yeah. then after that, I mean, I don't, I don't want I don't mean to say that like other ratios aren't great. They're great. No, they're yeah. fine. I love it. You know, exactly. it's like you can have like a vodka martini. The three to one ratio is really nice. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I prefer the two to one, which is what you did here, right? Oh, it's two to one two to with one, right. um, hopefully two, two, da I mean, it's two dashes. I mean, all dashes are I mean, different. I'm not getting um, a whole bunch of, of orange bitters. You have enough, like you don't have too much orange bitters. I'm going to tell you right now. It's a miracle. Because <laughs> I fucking winged that shit. So what I did for you is a variation on a, and a Vesper. Let me get in here. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That is lovely. There is, I mean, I get the orange super right away with a bitter bite that I love. And it's got like a, a dry, unsweet right. fruit that kind of carries it through, which I guess is from something that's in Kochi or in the bitters, I don't know. Definitely the bitter. Well, the yeah. bitters is gonna be, I mean, did you see what I did? You know what I, you know what I did, right? No, there? I didn't watch. Yeah. I was okay, cool. doing so my thing. We use grapefruit bitters, right? So that's going to be your okay. dry, whatever. The cokey is actually sweeter than dry vermouth. It's more like blanc vermouth, so it's going to okay. have. It's a little bit sweeter. I actually like drinking cokey just neat. Yeah. Like I just like like honestly chilled little cokey neat. There you go. See, it's, it's sweeter. That is much sweeter. Yeah, much sweeter. But then what I did was I then the vodka that I put in there. So I did three quarters of an ounce of vodka. Very interesting. To like pare it down. Too. Okay. And just that's dialing up alcohol without any other flavor. It's just putting ethanol basically. It's just yes, putting exactly. like watered down ethanol into the drink. I think that there's a synthesis of flavors in this that for me resolves into a, I believe it or not, a nuttiness. Ooh. I almost almondy or jotty kind of thing. I didn't just drink straight cokey, so my palate's pretty fucked now. But that's what I get. I really, really enjoy that. Um, I'm. This is definitely. I kind of threw a curveball. I did a Vesper on the show too, and I hated it. And this is like I did it. So but let me wrong. guess. You used like so the wrong. David Wondrich, like three ounces of vodka, like half an ounce of Lillet, and then like you did so that. Right? I you did didn't like the, do Lillet. The, 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 the like the oh 007 specs. I actually yeah I did 007 specs, but because you can't get Kina anymore, I used. I think I used Lillet. Do you I use Gordon's gin? You're like I three ounce, I said three ounces of vodka just a second, but it's three ounces of Gordon's gin. I did Gordon's, and I think I I know I did one ounce of uh, vodka. Stoli. Because you kept it Russian, because it's exactly playing into the character. That's what everyone criticized. Like everyone was like, when I did my Vesper, I was like, I did a Vesper variation, and they were like, well, no, no, it should be Russian, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, it's a variation. 
Yeah, just right. To show you guys a good drink. Exactly, <laughs> it's just a good drink. And and I messed up. I tried to simulate uh, Lille, uh, Kino Lille with Lille Blanc and Angostura bitters. I was really schooled on like you're looking at me now. Like, what were you thinking? No, no, no. Actually, I, I, I was actually when you were talking, I was remembering watching the episode. Oh. And then just being like really impressed by like your dedication to switching out the Kino Lille. Yeah. Well, so like this is knowing the, stuff, the though. right Kino Liero Dior turns out it, right like a real replication of Kino Lele. So we did like an iPhone version of it after that nobody watched, but this is super good. So the thing about Kino Lele is that like Lele to this day says they never change the recipe. Like their official line is that they never change the recipe. And there is the reason why people um, use Koki Americano nowadays in place of Kino Lele is because there's quinine in right. uh, Koki Americano. So you have a good quinine flavor. So it like, it like replicates the flavor of Kino Lele before Lele become Lele Blanc. I say. So which, I which used, that's they, why I used it. Assuming that they did change the flavor and that they're not lying. Right. But they do say, like, even if you look in, like, uh, the Meehan bartender's manual, he even prints. Lele says their official line is, I think I even emailed them and they, like, they their official line is they did not change the recipe. Oh, my God. Of Lele, so. That is a fucking awesome drink, man. That is super duper refreshing and just, I just love that damn drink. Oh, you're me. <laughs> I'm just going to drink the rest. Beautiful. Because it's fucking good. Well, thank you, sir. I Expletive uh, was uh, intended. Gauntlet, gaunt, gauntlet, gauntlet thrown. Here, you know, I, I like, we should cheers, but I can't do that with an empty glass because it is, it is very bad luck to do that. So here, well, it's what? cheers. Oh, that's true. Cheers. Prost. You know what? This guy came here to sabotage me. He's just <laughs> here to drink me under the f***ing table. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's actually a great, just so you guys know, a martini with a chaser of Koki is a oh, that's a oh that's a wonderful thing. That's yeah. a hell of a combo. This is this is really fun, man. Thank you, fantastic. thank you for thank you for, for having, having me by, man. This is this is a great time. No, this I is had fantastic. A really fun time. So everybody knows that you should definitely check out his channel. This is e, this is Leandro from the Educated Barfly. Well, I don't know if everyone knows, but you should check out my channel. Uh, no, you totally should. He's fucking great. He actually knows what he's talking about. Unlike me, he's a real bartender working in a real bar. You work at Coles, yep. birthplace of the French dip. Birthplace of the French dip? A French dip is one of like two uh, beef based things that I miss from eating beef. I quit eating beef a while ago, but my God, did I love a French dip and a double burger at Wendy's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I get a lot of, I get a lot of love from people who think I shot all these animals and a lot of hate from people who think I shot all these animals. My wife's grandfather shot these things in like 1956 Canada. Like they were going to throw them out. I was like, that's stupid. Well, I don't throw it out. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't shoot this guy. Dude, I didn't even know until just the very second that we have a, a sponsor in common, which you is awesome. I love that. Barfly. And I'm telling, I'm gonna call Barfly, just like, I'm gonna, just like I called you out, I'm gonna call Barfly out. So Barfly, I was thinking that maybe Greg, if he wants to, I don't know. I, I sort of ran this by him and myself could do something at Tales of the Cocktail unless you're just putting it out there. Yeah. Just saying. How, I, how about this? Comment below if you want Greg and I to do something awesome at Tales of the Cocktail next year. Yes, I agree with that. Also, I don't fly, so we should get a sponsorship from... Uh, and do a road trip. From Elon. And yes. So Elon wants to jump on board and hit me up with a Tesla. I understand they drive themselves. I think the self-driving capabilities of a Tesla and my propensity to drink alcohol is a sponsorship made in Heaven. So this is what I propose. Hold on. Now this is this is all coming together now. This is what I propose. I propose that we will rent a van or maybe one of those really awesome Winnebago style things that say cruise in America on the side. Yeah, yeah. We will, they got those just up the road. We will road trip down to Louisiana, drinking our way there. Well, it's a great trip. We'll, we'll, great we'll trip, hit yeah. uh, Shenandoah Valley. I know all the places. We'll do Skyline Drive. It's beautiful that time of year. And then we'll go right into the Great Smokies. We will stop at Dollywood. We'll eat some cinnamon rolls there, famous for cinnamon rolls. We will stop at so a couple have, of great bars Definitely in stop in Savannah, Georgia, because I have a friend oh, shit, that's consulting Savannah. on a... Okay. Well, look, look at this, open container city. Wait, what? We need to do an outro, but... Well, this is a how to drink show. I make cocktails and how to drink them. And uh, I and Leandro are your hosts today. Uh, if you like the show, I'm on Twitter at how to drink. Where are you at? I'm at the Educated Barfly on YouTube and on Instagram and on Twitter. See you guys next week on another All right, Now I'm a little drunk because that martini was strong and good and liked it. I'm glad. I loved yours too. I'm... Hammered. I've been shooting this one. We did an episode. Wait, about do you have another episode to do? 
today? So many. Oh, I shot this right, five today. Your fucking hair, dude. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. Like I like. There's so many. I'm trying to do twelve. I feel today. like I'm just like extending this whole thing because I'm having fun hanging out with you. Oh, we can have more fun. <laughs> we'll have a lot of fun. We'll have all the fun together. Ah, uh, oh, I'm so drunk. Ah, uh, because I did a what is whiskey thing and I drank a bunch of whiskey. Yesterday I drank thirteen rums in a row. All right, great. Oh, I'm cut. <laughs> We're done. Cut.